In this short video, I will explain two methods that can be used to tell which resistors are in series and which ones are in parallel. Two resistors are in series if they are connected by a wire that has no junction. In this diagram, the wire connecting R1 and R2 has no junction, so they must be in series. This allows the same amount of current to flow through R1 and R2. Two resistors are in parallel if they share two common junctions. In the second diagram, the two junctions are highlighted by red circles. Notice that both R1 and R2 are connected to the same two junctions, making them parallel. Resistors in parallel have the same voltage difference across them. There are different ways that one can use to tell which resistors are in series and which ones are in parallel. Let's consider this circuit as an example. In method one, we imagine that the wires are flexible so that we can rearrange the circuits as long as we don't break any connections. Then, we imagine rearranging the circuit until all the resistors are either horizontal or vertical. In the second diagram, I have rearranged the circuit so that all the resistors are horizontal. This is essentially the same circuit as the one above, but now it is easier to see that R2 and R4 are in series, and R3 and the combination of R2 and R4 are in parallel. Method 2 is more systematic and requires you to use pens or pencils with different colors. We use one color to trace wire segment until we hit a circuit element, such as a resistor or battery. Here, starting from the top end of the battery, we use red to trace the wire until we hit a resistor, in this case R1. We then use a different color and trace the wire on the other side of R1. The actual color does not matter as long as it is not red. Let's use blue. Notice that we need to keep using blue for the vertical wire segment here. We then repeat this procedure until all the wires have colors. As we discussed earlier, resistors are in series if they are connected by a wire with no junction. In this case, R2 and R4 are connected by the green wire, which has no junction, so they must be in series. And we can replace them with an the equivalent resistor, which we call R24, whose resistance is just R2 plus R4. The actual advantage of using color coding method is for identifying resistors in parallel. Resistors are in parallel if they share the same color combination. In this case, R3 and R24 are in parallel because they both have blue on one end and orange on the other. Let's look at another example. To save time, I have already colored coded the wires. In this case, R2, R3, and R4 all have blue on one end and orange on the other, so the three resistors are in parallel. To understand why this method works, please read the comment below.